Hi guys, I thought I'd share this with you. This is a little Mitox uh, two-stroke. Um, it's a, a strimmer and a, a hedge uh, clipper. I've got an interchangeable head. But you see here, I've melted uh, all of this part of the body. You can see the uh, the, the casing has, has melted there and what happened, I was using the uh, machine and um, the, uh, the silencer, or I guess some of you call it the muffler, uh, shook loose. In fact one of the bolts uh, came out of it and uh, I got the, uh, you know, the ear defenders on and the mask and all the rest and I just wasn't aware that it had come out and um, I, I could smell it before anything else happened and um, let's see the uh, uh, one of the screws actually came out of here and it's uh, a socket cap screw so originally it had uh, two uh, black steel socket cap screws like this and as I say, the one had completely disappeared and uh, I guess is lost somewhere in the garden. So I replaced uh, both of them, sorry, I replaced one of them uh, with a stainless steel bolt. And I thought, well, I don't want these things uh, dropping out again. So what I did was. Um, I did what they do on uh, aircraft engines. I drilled a hole in the uh, uh, in the head of the bolt, and then I put a wire through it, uh, and then uh, I locked the two bolts together. I thought, well, that's okay. That should uh, put it to bed. And uh, you arrange for the wires uh, to be in such a, a way that. Um, uh, it holds the bolt so as it as it wants to unscrew anti-clockwise it would have to stretch the wire I'll show you when I put uh, put this back in there but then uh, I used it for a little while and um, I noticed uh, it, it sounded pretty horrible and one of the bolts had broken what had happened in fact was the uh, uh, the stainless steel bolt that I'd put in uh, was still holding in, in place, that was locked in, and the second bolt was being held by the retaining wire that I just told you about. But if you look at the length of these, you'll see these were both the same length. And what has happened is that bolt has actually sheared off. And I don't know why, I don't know, I can't imagine it being thermal. When I tightened it off, I didn't over tighten it. Um, but as it goes through there, you can see it's, it's, it's only just long enough to come through. So something very odd has happened, either the, the, the vibration or whatever, has just fatigued that. The stainless steel bolt has, uh, has, has remained good. So anyway, I've got... I'd only got um, uh, one stainless steel bolt, but I've I've collected some more stainless steel bolts now, um, and I'm also replacing the gaskets because uh, the gaskets have uh, blown to pieces. So I'm not quite sure why they've got two gaskets on this, but uh, that's what the manufacturers uh, say it should be. I reckon it's the compressibility of this gasket material that caused the original failure. So I lightly hammered the mating faces so as to precondition them and take out any compressibility. Uh, stainless steel is uh, far superior to steel when it comes to well, pretty well everything. Yeah. Uh, mechanically and uh, thermally um, it's it's much better but I cannot for the life of me understand how that bolt fatigued the little end that would have been left in the um, 
cylinder head had obviously vibrated out. When when this thing's running, the vibration is awful. Um, I don't like using it for too long. As, um, it's uh, as I say, it's it's it's, it's not nice. Uh, And by the way, what I'm doing is I'm using ferritic stainless steel. If you have a, an ordinary steel bolt like this, uh, the thermal coefficient of thermal expansion is um, around 13 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree centigrade. Whereas with um, uh, austenetic, uh, uh, non-magnetic stainless steel, uh, that figure uh, jumps up to well, 14 to 17 times uh, 10 to the minus 6 per degree centigrade but with um, uh, magnetic stainless steel, ferritic uh, stainless steel uh, that is only 9.9 9, uh, 9 .9 times 10 to the minus 6 so in other words these bolts uh, will ex uh, expand uh, and, and and effectively loosen less than a steel bolt uh, would um, a, a mild steel bolt or a normal steel bolt So, it's uh, hard to imagine that uh, that's going to come undone again. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, what I will do is run the machine a couple of times and then I think I'll uh, just uh, check those two bolts for tightness but at, uh, at least it's given me a chance to play with my new camera uh, thanks for watching guys bye bye